What is good, Knicks fans? Welcome back to Knicks Media. This is Richie, and we have some rumors to talk about. According to Chris, the New York Knicks are receiving and taking calls on Mitchell Robinson right now. There's a lot of speculation that Leon Rose may not be done after the blockbuster trade of Carl Anthony Towns last night, shipping away Randall, shipping away Dante, bringing back Carl Anthony Towns. The Knicks starting five right now is set, but the bench unit, it's interesting right now, and I feel like Mitchell Robinson... After getting the news that he's not going to be healthy for the opener, and we may not see Mitch until January, I would not pat, I would not put it past Leon Rose of still trying to make another trade before the season begins because Leon Rose has proven to me he's never satisfied with his roster, ever. All right, Mitchell Robinson also put a selfie on Instagram today that made Knicks fans very, very curious of why he said this, all right? It's a selfie of Mitchell Robinson. He said, y'all finna hate me. Now, I don't know what that means, Mitch. I'm not going to read too deep into it. Uh, does that mean he knows that he's getting traded to a rival? I have no idea. But there's a lot of speculation around Mitchell Robinson, especially after this report from Chris saying that their longest tenure player is potentially going to get dealt, all right? That means that the Knicks are receiving calls. They're calling players if they're interested in Mitchell Robinson. And when you trade for a guy like Carl Anthony Towns, you wonder, does Mitch want to get traded away? Does he want to go somewhere where he can be the starting center? Me personally, I talked about it since we brought in Cat. I love a lineup potentially with Mitchell Robinson at the five and Carl Anthony Towns at the power forward spot in certain situations in the second half of the season in the playoffs. I know that Mitch got to stay healthy. I know that he has, has to get healthy in the first place, but I love Mitch. I absolutely love Mitch. And I think now Knicks fans know deep down that these players that we love, we have to stop... I guess just loving them so much because they're just going to get traded, right? Now, Dante DiVincenzo is the newest fan favorite to th that just got traded, and Knicks fans are trying to hold on to that. Mitch is different, though, because I think all Knicks fans are going to realize, hey, Mitch is a heck of a, a big man that can defend the paint and do all the good things, but the issue is he can't stay on the floor. And I don't even know if he has a market. Do, play, do teams out there value Mitchell Robinson? I don't know what the Knicks would get in return. Uh, but it seems like, according to Chris here, who I, I definitely trust, that the New York Knicks are taking calls on Mitchell Robinson. So let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments. Would you want the Knicks to trade away Mitchell Robinson now that we brought in Carl Anthony Towns? Would you rather him heal up on the bench and come back healthy for the second half and play, you know, off the bench, backing up Carl Anthony Towns, or eventually play some minutes with Cat on the floor together? That will be an insane front court. That's the unique thing about Carl Anthony Towns that people need to realize. He's not just a center. He could play the four and the five. So maybe that's in their game plan, or the Knicks feel like they're there's a team out there that can absorb Mitch's contract, that can open up the Knicks' books to go after another player, that can help out the Knicks off the bench. Because you look at the Knicks starting five, it is stacked and ready to go. But the bench unit is very interesting, right? We waived Marcus Morris. We brought in Landry Shamit. Let's see if he... Is he going to replace Dante DiVincenzo? Uh, Tyler Kolick is going to have a probably a big role as a rookie. Of course, Deuce McBride is still there, who I'm very, very high on. If you guys have been watching my channel for a long time, Jericho Sims hopefully can make a jump in uh, his season number four, I believe, in the NBA. Uh, Precious Achua got brought back, right? I mean, and then all the rookies. I mean, I feel like this bench unit definitely needs some more firepower just from the perspective of what we've seen from this bench unit. That's what made this Knicks team dangerous these last few years is that we're so deep that injuries did not hurt this Knicks team. I mean, it got to a point where it was basically impossible to overcome it. But the cool thing about this Knicks team the last few years is how much depth that we have. And now we're just front loaded and stacked up at the starting five. So Mitchell Robinson is our best bench player but he's injured still. He's still recovering from that ankle injury. So maybe the Knicks are trying to get him out of here and bring in somebody that's healthy uh, to play for this Knicks team right when the season begins. I feel like there's a lot of options that uh, Leon Rose can definitely look into because I'm just looking at Leon Rose, my bro. This guy's never satisfied. He is going to call every team. He is going to figure out a way to build the roster to his liking. He's made three big-time trades in less than a 12-month span, right? You go back to... Uh, January, we trade for OG Ananobi, and then you go to June, we trade for Bridges, and now we're here in September, he trades for Carl Anthony Towns. Go look at the opening night roster last season against the Celtics compared to this uh, upcoming season. It's crazy how much Leon Rose 
like flip this roster upside down. And the crazy thing about it too is I love the roster. I think that this roster may be the best it's ever been in a long, long time. So folks, let me know your thoughts. Do you want the Knicks to trade Mitchell Robinson or do you want them to keep him on this team and hopefully he can stay healthy in the second half? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button. Let's go Knicks. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.